Grab your My View Literacy Book 1.4 and open it to page 12 and 13. This is a timeline. Let's check out our weekly question. How do artists of the past help us see the world differently? This timeline is for Frida Kahlo. She's an artist. A timeline is a way to show important events in a person's life. So this timeline shows the important events in Frida Kahlo's life. In 1907, Frida Kahlo was born in Mexico. This is the Mexican flag. It's a picture to represent that time in her life. And we have a line onto our timeline to show us where it starts. Then we're following the timeline to 1925. She learned to paint while recovering from a bus accident. So apparently in 1925, she was in a bus accident and learned how to paint. We have these painting supplies to go along with that. Following along, 1929, she married artist Diego Rivera. Here's his picture. In 1943, she became a professor of painting at a university. So she was still painting and she became a professor. Traveling over to 1954, she died in Mexico. So when she died in Mexico, she was 47 years old. Here's her self-portrait. This is how she painted herself. Look at Frida Kahlo's painting. What do you think about her work? Tell your partner how her painting makes you feel. So let's take a look at this picture. I think that she probably really liked animals because she has lots of animals in this picture. She also probably liked being outside because she included all these leaves. This painting makes me feel happy because I like being outside and having animals too. So it makes me really happy that she probably liked the same things. Go ahead and turn the page to page 24 and 25. This week we're reading biographies. I can read a biography. Spotlight on genre, biography. A biography is a story of a real person's life written by another person. An autobiography is written by the person themselves, but a biography is about someone written by someone else. Real person George Washington was born in Virginia in 1732. He was a farmer and a general. Later, he became the first president of the United States. So this was written not by George Washington, but it is a true story about George Washington. So this is a biography. Biography anchor chart. Informational text, so it's a true story. It tells you information. It's a true story of a real person's life. So we wouldn't tell a true story about um, a fictional person like Snoopy. It would be a real story about a real person like George Washington. The events are told in order. So you're going to tell the story that they happened to the person in real life. So it would follow the timeline, like what we saw for Frida. This is going to help because if you're just jumping around in a person's life, it's gonna be very confusing. You wouldn't wanna say that someone got married and then say that, that they were a kid and they did this when they were a kid, because that would be very confusing. You might think that the kid got married. That'd be really weird and it's written by someone else. So biographies are not written by the person that they're about, they're written by someone else who either studied the person or maybe knows the person. So listen to this biography about Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso saw art all around him from the day he was born in 1881. His father was an artist and an art teacher. He gave Pablo his first lessons in drawing and painting. When he was 13, Pablo went to Spain to learn more about making art. Later, he went to the best school in Spain. There, Pablo learned to paint in common style. Pablo thought this way of painting was boring. Pablo moved to France in 1900. He started painting again and tried a new kind of art. He began putting simple shapes together to make pictures. This style was very different from what Pablo learned in art school. Later, Pablo tried a style of art that was even more different. His pictures almost didn't seem real. This new art looked some, like something from a dream. Soon Pablo became known as one of the greatest artists of his time. 
By the time he died in 1973, at age 91, he had made thousands of works of art. So this is an informational text. It has all true information. It was a true story about a real person. Pablo Picasso is a real painter, and you can see his paintings in art museums. The events are told in order. It started when he was born. It told us about when he went to school. It told us about when he moved to France. And then it told us about how many paintings he painted before he died. So he goes from childhood to school to moving to France to death. It goes all the way across in order. And it's written by someone else. Pablo Picasso did not write that about himself. So biographies are going to be true information about a real person written in order. Something I noticed about Picasso's biography and the one, the timeline one that we read about Frida Kahlo is that they're both about painters. They both start when they were born and end when they died. And they tell important events about when they uh, were painting in their life. Like it told us when Frida got married and that she became a professor and that she, when she learned how to paint, the Pablo Picasso one told us about when he learned how to paint, he went to art school, and that he moved. It didn't tell us that he got married. So this week we're going to be reading biographies, and we're going to start that tomorrow. See you then!